<clears throat> All right, hey YouTube, Uncle Shorty, Uncle Shorty's Bassin. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a uh, popper. We're gonna do some switch it up a little bit and do some top water. Uh, we're gonna do this in a frog pattern. Um, normally we do the crankbaits or lipless or stuff like that, but we're gonna do a little bit more of a summertime bait. Uh, one of my favorite ways to to fish uh nothing like nothing like getting a top water blow up um, so yep yeah, so we're gonna do this in a frog pattern i already got the bait covered in white uh, next we're gonna be throwing this detail what is this yeah it's a flesh tone so we're just gonna cover the bait in a flesh tone or anything that you have similar to it this one's called like uh, Detail Corey Saint Claire's Universal Flesh Tone. Wicked Colors. I haven't done too much work with this color here, but uh, I think it's going to be a good, good base coat here. Um, I'm going to cover the whole bait. Except the, except the belly. We're not going to do the bottom. We're going to keep that white. Hopefully you guys are, have been out in your garage or out in your workshop getting some stuff done, getting some stuff painted up. Right now it's <laughs> just like every video, I was waiting for it to kick on. Right when I start, we'll just continue on getting this bait covered. Poppers have a lot of different nooks and crannies and spots you gotta hit. So, if this is the bait you're painting, just make sure you get all the angles. That's why I like to hold my helping hand. You can really turn it. And you don't gotta worry so much about the mouth, but I do like to get the tops of the lips. Here. I'm gonna get a nice dark kind of dark flesh tone here to it. Alright, sorry about that. You guys watch my videos, you know that compressor like to kick on when I start. Alright. So we got this nice kind of dark. We're gonna cover this with some some pearl green once we get a, a stencil on there, but there you go. So we got we got this all covered, all areas, all spots. Alright, so I'm gonna heat set this. And then we're actually going to throw a stencil on it right away. Alright, so now that we got that heat set, uh, what I did is I went and made a, a stencil here out of some tool uh, lace. This isn't the normal tool um, that you would buy, you know, like this kind of stuff that you can buy. This stuff's a little bit thicker. Um, I haven't used it yet. I have a m plenty, like lots of other types of tool. Um, I seen this. I kind of liked it because it's got bigger holes, uh, a little more round holes. Um, I think I bought this like two months ago, but I haven't used it at all. Um, and then what I did was I used a uh, an exacto knife, you know, a real sharp exacto knife, and then I cut out some of the holes just to make them a little bit bigger. As you can kind of see here, they look kind of like clubs. Um, or four leaf clovers or something just in just in random places a couple on this side a couple on that side a couple on the top um, just kind of give it a little something different um, instead of just all the same circle pattern all the way through uh, I haven't done 
that before so I'm hoping it turns out pretty cool looking because uh, I think it'll be a cool pattern all right so what we're gonna do here is what I did was I mixed three different colors um, I mixed some uh, pearl lime green and then just some regular pearl green a little bit darker so some pearl lime which is light and then some pearl green a little bit darker and then uh, I added like drop by drop uh, like one drop at a time until I found the right color of green that that I wanted um, this color right here looks pretty cool I think um, you can always go a little bit darker but remember the darker you go at first you can't really add things on top of it later and then so if I want to add some things later I'll still have that opportunity to um, I said this this pattern I I haven't done I like doing these for the first time on camera with you guys so you guys can kind of see learn kind of with me so and the other thing is you guys can see if you watch my other videos I've kind of changed my my work desk here a little bit it was getting a little cluttered and crazy so I got this this right here um, it's meant for nail polish bottles uh, it actually fits these bottles in here perfect it's got one two it's got five five rows I think it holds 12 bottles or 11 bottles each uh, I need to get one more of them obviously because I got extra ones just sitting around but um, I like it I was a little worried that the bottles wouldn't fit in here because nail polish bottles I thought were a little bit smaller but they fit perfect even the you know the other you know types of paints that you can buy not just the you know create tags you got some well you got some apple barrel ones here you know they all fit and they're pretty good so pretty excited about that clear up some space here I added a light uh, kind of trying to move my lights around here to kind of help brighten it up um, so I'm trying to look at the camera here and see if it's if it's dark or not or so bear with me on this on this one if it is I'll change things around in the next one but all right here we go we're gonna add some add some green then we shoot straight when you're using these stencils nice and straight with your with your base probably do two coats of this I really want this green to stand out and then that uh, that tone color to really stand out so let me let me drop some heat on this and we'll do another layer all right all right so what I did was I heat set it I put another layer on there um, of that of that mix that I did with the three colors um, and then I heat set it again with the the tool or lace whatever you want to call this here and then when I took it off this is what I this is what I got here pretty cool design pretty cool pattern um, so what we're gonna do now is I put some uh, bloodline what do you call this bloodline surgery sienna it's kind of like a light brown a uh, little gory color put that in a little cup here uh, I'm gonna take my fine paintbrush here and then what we're gonna do is in the in these green circles here we're just gonna color in these little dots just a little bit in the center I'm not gonna show you guys 
this whole process. I'm just going to show you guys a couple. Just to add a little texture to each each dot here. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy, just right in the center. It doesn't have to be a perfect pattern or design or you just want to get a little bit of brown or this sienna color into the middle uh, a little something like that uh, hopefully it's showing up on camera here um, and then we're going to add some more stuff on top of this but this is kind of what we're starting with I'm going to do the rest of these dots and then we'll we'll get back all right, so now that we got those all dotted up and painted for now, uh, we're going to throw some uh, pearl black on the eyes to, to darken up the eyes here. And the eyes, just nice and easy, very lightly. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can hopefully you guys can see that. Alright, just getting those eyes done up. We're gonna come through with a few other layers, I think, on top of this uh top of these spots here. Um to kind of blend all these together and kind of give it some depth. So heat set that black. Um now I think I'm gonna come in with some either detail moss green or some sepia or something to kind of go over the top of this bait with all right so we got that dried and so what I've done is something I've never done which I I don't know why or if I would ever need a reason to but uh I mixed uh, moss green and sepia together kind of an odd mixture I know but uh I wanted to kind of see what the color would come out as and I don't know we'll see so we're gonna kind of lightly do the sides and then go a little bit darker on the top um, so we're gonna kind of dull this out a little bit just with another shade of green here not not dark it's a light on the top we're gonna go a little bit darker and obviously it's not gonna be dark enough to cover up our stuff but it's just gonna be a little something this bait just needs a little something different I'm trying to figure out exactly what it needs like I said First time doing this bait right here with you guys. Which I like doing. I like doing this stuff for the first time with you guys. So you can see that. You know. This is a hobby. We're all trying to learn. You know. If you guys can learn something from my video. Cool. You know. Which I hope I. I hope I can. Hope you guys can. You know. Learn something. Yeah. One or two techniques that you might like. Darken that top up a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't a. The problem was I wasn't a big fan of that. That uh. What was that skin tone or whatever that was, flesh tone. I wasn't a big fan of that color shining through or coming through there. So I'm trying to figure out a way of 
dulling that down a bit, but still having it come through. You know, like you see a little bit. When you see frogs, they still kind of have that flesh, flesh to them a little bit. Uh, I was hoping you guys can kind of see this. Uh, the pattern itself, you know, with the dots and that kind of stuff, you know, that all can be ironed out. You know, you, you can do your own pattern. I can adjust my pattern. That's not the big, the big picture. You know, fish aren't sitting down there looking at all the detail of each little of each little bait. You know, they're just, especially on top water. You see that bait? They're gonna smash after it. Uh, I'm just trying to get the, the colors. Just kind of. A little bit closer, a little bit more of what I was picturing in my head when I first started here. I'm gonna heat set this, let my compressor quit being loud, and uh, there we go. Kind of see where we're at with these colors. All right, get back to you. All right, so this is starting to come together here. Um, the colors are starting to be a little bit more of what I was I was hoping for. Um, so next what we're going to do is we're going to paint this mouth. These mouths are always a pain in the butt for me. I always hate painting them. So I just paint them with a the paintbrush. Um, which one did I grab here? I'm going to do this color shift. It's red, f red flash. It's a color shift. It's kind of got some other paint on it right now. But it's, uh, it's a color shift. You can kind of see in here. When it's all done, I'll show you how it how it changes. It kind of goes from like a pink to a red, you know, with a little bit of a shimmer in there. I didn't want to go just bright red. Um, I just didn't want to do a bright red. So this kind of takes a couple coats. You just do a thin layer at a time. And I want it to be kind of like a blood. And that bright red is just not so much of a blood color. But this right here looks pretty good. You know, I could have used that candy blood red that I got. I've used that before on other ones. I just wanted to give this color shift one a, a try and see how it looks on here. So... Just a nice thin coat all in the mouth. Make sure you go all the way around. All the bait. I mean all the little crevices around everywhere. And then uh, you, know, you can get the very front of the lip if you want. Like the front outside part. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. This right here, I don't think I'm going to, you know, like you can always get like the, like the front here. Here, I'll do the bottom, so you know what I mean. Like you don't have to do the outside part. You know, you can just do the inside of the mouth. Uh, you know, so it's up to you on which way you want to do. So I'm going to dry this. I'll put a couple more coats on it so it looks, uh, looks better. Because with one coat, it doesn't look very good. So we'll put a couple coats on it and then uh, move on to the next step. All right, so now we got that mouth done. Um, we're gonna come in with some pearl white. And just slap that on the belly here. Just to give that belly a little bit of shine. It's not really gonna change a whole lot, but I always like to do that with my top water. Just come in with some pro white at the end and just to brighten it up a tad okay you kind of see there I mean it did a little bit but all right I'll heat set that and then we're gonna throw some uh, some gold on the top here all right so now we got the wicked gold in here we're gonna just cover the whole bait this is what's gonna give that this bait a nice shine 
you can kind of see that already hopefully in that uh in that light there just on the top there so i can just cover the bait do the mouth a little bit that's not gonna do much but might as well <laughs> Make sure you get all sides to the bottom. This wicked gold really does have some nice color flake in it. And I like to put it on at the end. You can use it to darken your bait or not. You know, if you go heavy, it'll it'll darken it up for sure. Let's see if I can uh get it to shimmer in the in the camera here but yeah there you go all right so not too bad i think that uh turned out pretty good from where uh kind of we started to where we ended up you know hopefully can, you guys can kind of see that on camera but the colors i'm a lot happier with uh, i do want to mess around with this pattern a lot kind of fine tune it and dial it in and make some some adjustments um, it being my first time doing this one not too bad but I definitely see some patterns I want to I want to fix I don't know about this this tool there might be too many dots on it so I might need to make a stencil with less dots you know maybe just bigger circles with less little ones um, try to find something that I can do that with because I do like the way these bigger ones look but if they're more of like a round pattern rather than this you know club looking plus sign looking pattern uh, might be a little bit better but all in all not too bad I think it'll catch some fish for sure get a nice trouble off the bag with some feather on it I think that'll be good um, so yeah so we can heat set this and I'll show you guys how I apply my UV I won't uh, I won't show you guys the box or anything I do want to make a video on how I made my UV box uh, my UV light box like the curing area um, but I will show you how I at least apply the resin and then uh, then I'll hang this bait and, and then uh, go from there all right so uh, let me heat set this and get my UV stuff set up all right so I almost forgot the most uh, one of the most important things and that's the eyes uh, I decided to go with these fire tiger eyes they're from Jetson Jetson what are they call just Jetson lure eyes uh, this this company makes the most amazing eyes out there I think um, all different kinds of colors go check out their website um, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description but they have every single type of color and pattern and anything you can think of and their eyes are I mean they're clear they're clean they're they're legit eyes um, Alright, so I got this sitting on this foam block here. This is part of my uh, my spinning wheel that I use uh, for my UV light box. Um, it, it sits sits in there like this. I'll show you guys. I'll try to do a video of that. And then as the it's sitting inside here, it it's able to spin um, spin slower than this, but it spins, and that way the the, the clear coat the UV resin you know dries evenly and, and it turns out really nice so um, so yeah so this is the foam block that I have it sitting on so I'll just show you guys a little bit of this here as we kind of close out the video um, I'll show you guys how I put this this stuff on you can dip it there's multiple ways of doing this stuff um, let's see if I can grab the bottle without that tipping over uh, I think I showed in my last video, but this is the bottle. Uh, it comes in bigger bottles, I think. It was my first time trying this stuff, so I didn't buy the bigger one. So this isn't 
enough really to, to dip baits but you could probably buy a few of them you know if you want to start dipping them but brushing this stuff's on I mean it's it goes on super easy it doesn't cure you know like 30 minute epoxy you know I like that stuff too I'll even stick that on my drying wheel which is uh, a big help because then it makes that stuff dry evenly as well um, you guys can't see uh, but this stuff right here won't dry unless it's on a unless it has the UV light hitting it so another re you know reason why I like working with this stuff is it doesn't matter how long I have it sitting out here while I'm working with it I don't have to feel like I'm rushing or you know I might miss a spot because I'm trying to hurry um, this stuff won't set up until it gets into that light box this area right here if you're doing these poppers it's a it's kind of a pain but you want to make sure you keep that area clean make sure none of this stuff gets in there and dries because you don't want it to you don't want it to dry in there because it's going to affect the way it pops and plops and splashes on the top if that little hole you can kind of see there there's a little hole there that the water pops through makes a nice little bubble um, so you don't want to clog that up that's a, a big a big uh, problem that I see a lot of people having or people asking about is you know how do you prevent that um, when painting these baits So you just gotta, as I'm as I'm putting this stuff on, or even when I was using the 30 minute epoxy, you know, because this is, um, you know, this UV resin stuff is kind of, is still somewhat new to me. Uh, you know, I haven't been using it long, maybe a a month, you know, if that. But um, but yeah, whatever. So you just gotta make sure that stuff, that that hole is cleaned out of there. But you can see the difference. I mean, look at this side, and then I'll try to turn it over, and you can see. And you can see that side. Just the difference in the, the way that that resin stuff just shines, man. Look at that. You know, and then you want to make sure you get the mouth. You know, same thing in here when you're painting or when you're. Uh, putting the resin here these holes you gotta make sure you get those clean you know stick a toothpick um, you know whatever you gotta do to make sure that that's clear of resin or epoxy or whatever you're using make sure that little hole is clear of if you don't I promise you as soon as this stuff cures you will not be able to get it off unless you got to drill it out or and that's a hassle you don't want to start you don't want to do that once your baits dry you don't want to put any power tools to it get, get the bottom all right well I won't show you guys this whole bait you guys kind of get the idea of what 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 I got going on here uh, glad this bait turned out better than it started Hopefully you guys made it through the whole video. If you did, you know, don't hesitate to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the bait, you know, the videos. I want to hear from you guys so I know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you guys want. And uh, I'll, I'll work on it. You know, if you guys want to see a certain pattern, let me know. You know, whatever you guys want. I'll see what I can do to get on it. I'm always looking for suggestions on new ideas. Uh, I enjoy doing this stuff, you know. I hope you guys enjoy watching the videos and are able to learn a little something from me. And uh, like I said before, or on the last video, my plans are to get some other type of videos coming out here soon of some different builds I'm just kind of waiting for some decent weather out here and if you guys don't know I live here in 
Washington State. And the weather has been crappy lately. It's either pouring rain or it's freezing cold or it's both. I'm, I'm ready for this weather to be over with. And uh, give me some good weather. I need some good weather. I need some fishing weather. I'm not a cold weather fishing guy. You can call me what you want, but I don't like to fish in the cold. Or the freezing cold. Not like this. But, um, well, cool. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. I will try to get this video up tomorrow, which will be Sunday the 16th. Yeah, because today's the 15th. Last night was Valentine's. I hope you guys had a good Valentine's. Spent it with your, your better half. I got to spend mine with my wife. We had a good time. And, um... Alright, well, this is Uncle Shorty with Uncle Shorty's Bassin. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm pretty putting out um, a video a week. Probably, most likely, it will be on the weekends. That's when I got my spare time. Sometimes, most of the time. But, um, alright, well, I will be talking to you guys soon. And again, this is Uncle Shorty with Uncle Shorty's Bassin. Hope you enjoyed.